Cooking cozy meal is always the perfect day, Chris. And look, many cultures around the world come together over one activity. We talked about it. It's cooking. And now you can experience some great stuff here in the Queen City. Joining me is Chef Santosi Radhakrishnan, owner of Santosi's Kitchen. Uh, first of all, welcome to the show. It smells fantastic. We are going to dive into this chicken tikka masala. But before I do so, uh, Chef, tell us a little bit about the instruction and what you guys do. Um, I've been teaching Indian cooking classes for the past eight years, since 2015, and I'm currently teaching cooking classes from my home, and uh, now I have an exciting news to share with you guys. Yeah. Um, I'm planning to open a new storefront, so I'm going to teach my cooking classes from there. Uh, it's located in Tigake, South Carolina. Perfect. And I'm really excited. So we're getting an exclusive look now at, 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 at what you're going to be doing, and this is Chicken tikka masala, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is a staple in my house because I do like Indian food, my wife loves Indian food. So we look at the butter chicken, the tikka masala, every other week, every three weeks or so because my children love it. They love it because of the spices that I'm smelling. Tell me what goes into this. So this is onion, tomato, ginger and garlic paste, chili powder, coriander, cumin powder, garam masala, kasuri methi, um, and then chicken, yogurt, lemon juice, and oil. So it's all the spices, that's why you get that nice curry mm -hmm, aroma, mm -hmm. but you know, one of the big protein in this meal is chicken, now yes. you mentioned that. Yes. When I'm looking to make this at home, are we looking at a chicken breast, chicken thigh, what kind of chicken should we focus on? Uh, mostly people like chicken breast meat, but you can use chicken thighs because chicken thighs has more flavor in it, it's much more juicier, so if you prefer, you can use chicken thighs. But for my cooking class, I always use chicken breast meat. Now, in order to get that sauce kind of bubbling and a little thickness, is there mm -hmm. a trick that you do when you're preparing this? Yes, so um, at the end you add heavy whipping cream and this gives the creaminess to the sauce uh -huh. and uh, it makes it more silkier and smoother and it tastes delicious. Now onions I've put in this before but I see you have some yellow bell peppers here mm -hmm. and some red bell peppers here. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me what does that do to the flavor with the curry and the coriander and whatnot? It adds a nice texture, it gives it a nice crunchiness mm -hmm. and a sweetness from the bell peppers and the onion. Um, so normally the chicken tandoori, uh, there is a tandoori oven in which you make the chicken tikka. So they skewer chicken, bell peppers, onion, tomato, and then grill them in the oven and throw them into the sauce. So this is um, a delicious and a popular Indian dish. Now, a lot of people eat this with different sides, different things. I know that rice is one of the ones we use at home, sometimes quinoa, but, but what other sides can go to accompany this chicken, chicken tikka masala? So you can serve chicken tikka masala with naan bread. Uh, I'm sure you've heard of naan bread. Of it's a very popular Indian bread, and you can serve it with roti. Roti is another bread. It is uh, made with whole wheat flour, and it is a flat bread. So today I'm going to serve you the chicken tikka masala with the naan bread. Let's do it. Let's see it. Let's, let's make it happen. Okay. Now I have, for those who have kiddos like myself at home, uh, does this curry or tikka masala or any other type of curry tend to be too spicy for them? Is there a way to cut that spice? Yes, yes. You can absolutely cut down the spice. It doesn't have to be spicy. Uh, the chili powder is the spice which gives heat to the dish. So if you add less chili powder, it will make it less spicy but more flavorful just like how uh, it's done in an Indian cuisine. Now when you look at all the different types of curries, because there's all a bunch of curries, there's red curry paste, there's yellow curry. Mm -hmm. When you're focusing on this dish specifically, what do you want to zone in on? Um, so this has a bunch of spices in it, mm -hmm. and it has, um, like I said, um, chili powder, coriander. So everything goes in together in a particular ratio. So if you just follow the recipe, um, you'll just make a delicious chicken tikka masala. Coconut milk mm -hmm. has also been used a lot in curry dishes. Mm -hmm. uh, does this one specifically take some of that, or could that be replaced maybe with the heavy cream? Yes, yes. If you don't like heavy cream, you can add coconut milk. Um, normally, it is mm -hmm. made with heavy cream, um, but you can definitely add coconut milk to give the creaminess. I, I want to put your information up on the screen because I want people to be able to uh, reach out and, and see what you guys you guys have going on here. You can follow um, Chef Santosi uh, on Instagram there and uh, as well as on Facebook. Uh, and, and Chef, real quick before I let you go, uh, for people out there, that because I always say, you know, knowledge is power, culture is power. Try to open your horizons, learn a little more. For people that may have been a little bit timid to try Indian food like I was many years ago and now I love it, what, what do you tell them? Um, 
You'll never know until you try. There you go. <laughs> you got to eat it, you got to try it, and you got to cook it, Kristen. This is delicious. It smells really good. 